Mr. Speaker, last evening I was made aware of the latest reprehensible action by this government against the charter rights of Canadian Abfusian Abdelrazik. Mr. Abdelrazik was in Sudan in 2003 visiting his ailing mother when he was arrested by that country's notorious security service. A 2009 federal court judgment revealed that CSIS was complicit in his arrest and subsequent prolonged and unlawful detention and torture. Finally released, Canada refused him a passport so he could return to Canada, and Mr. Abu Razak was never charged or convicted of any offence. He required a federal court order based on a violation of his constitutionally guaranteed right to mobility to finally reunite with his family. He filed a lawsuit exercising his right to compensation for violation of his charter rights. Nine years later, and on the eve of his court hearing, this government, which claims to defend charter rights, moved to have the trial adjourned indefinitely. Three successive governments are complicit in these violations. I call on this government to end their obstructive tactics and provide Mr. Abdelrazak with the redress that is his basic right.